Now let's now we're going to switch to TV viewership. This is really where to me. Yep. Uh, and again, this is this is a was a long you know vertical table that I chopped into three pieces. So it's sort of in the top uh, twenty six are on the far left, and the bottom twenty six are on the far right. Uh, now this is looking at pretty much everyone. Yeah, that thanks that that helps enlarge uh, get, make it a little more readable. Uh, this is all the all the schools, and this is uh, the, my co-author Crindor. He uh, he went and he he looked at. He's really an expert on on TV ratings, and he's looked at all the different you know way people slice these. You know, there's mm -hmm. you've got Zach Miller's ratings, which which sort of take your total viewership for a year and divide it by how many games you played, and you get a zero if if that game didn't go on a on a rated channel. Right. Uh, you've got other people who who just look at. Um, you know, what was your, what was the average of the games that were on rated channels, but you don't get any penalty for all your games that went on ESPN plus or the Pac-12 network or uh, see college sports uh, network or, you know, those kind of things. So, you know, he created something called the V score, which is uh, sort of an in-between. It's able to look at your, your harmonic mean uh, for your rated games and then sort of predict where similar games that, that, you have played that were on channels uh, might, you know, might've come out. So it's sort right. of in between the, 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 uh, those two things. Cause, cause it's, it, you know, TV ratings are really, really hard to draw a lot of conclusions from. I think you can get general trends, but uh, mm -hmm. there's so many factors, you know, who did you play? You know, if you're, if you're, you know, say you're Arizona state and you only have three games that are rated, uh, for the year, but they were against, you know, the three games, uh, that were on like rated channels. Now there, there'll be, right. let's say five games, but if, if, you know, UCLA, USC, Oregon, Washington, and Arizona, you know, say those are your five games that, that were on rated channels and the rest were on the PAC 12 network, you're going to have a pretty high average, not because you're everyone's tuning in to watch Arizona state, but because they're tuning in to watch USC, they're tuning in to watch, uh, you know, and, and the same thing, you know, if you have two ranked teams playing each other, even if they're not huge brands, a lot more casual fans tune in because right. they want to see if their team's going to jump up in the rankings if one of those right. teams lose. Uh, so there's yep. so many variables to, you know, what time slot you're in, what channel you're on, who you're playing, how competitive the game is. You know, if it's a blowout, you know, you look at the Oregon, you know, excuse me, look at the uh, TCU uh, Georgia a championship right. game, you know, mm -hmm. horrible ratings, obviously, because it was a snoozer. Uh, right. Uh, so there's a lot of things that can play. Even the lead-in game, if you have a massive game in front, of, right before yours, mm -hmm. and it was, you know, went into overtime and right up to the wire, you actually get a little boost because a lot of those TV sets stay on, and there's sort of mm -hmm. a transition onto the next game. So there's a lot of things that can affect viewership. But yep. general trends here, you know, SEC's king. Uh, Big Ten's not too far behind. You can you can sort of see the color codes there. Mm -hmm. Notre Dame, obviously strong. Clemson is a huge outlier. And again, these numbers are just looking at the last five years, kicking out the 2020 year, uh, just because of COVID and the unequal you know number of games that were played and the just the weirdness. And that that was actually a great year for BYU. So, but still, you know, trying to be honest about all this, you know, we kicked out that year just because it, it's hard to compare. Uh, and the last column in each in each of these tables here is, is looking at trajectory. Uh, okay. and that's comparing 2017 and 18 uh, to 2020, uh, excuse me, 2017, 18 and 19 to 2021 and 2022. Okay. Uh, so looking at where where's your viewership heading? And uh, again, just on the far bottom right corner, you see those two schools in red, SMU and San Diego State. Yeah, a lot of that's the product of, you know, the, the TV deals that they're part of. Um, San Diego State ends up on, you know, uh, College Sport Network a lot, and that's not a rated channel. Um, and they're just not on, you know, if they're if they're on an ESPN, it's usually ESPN2 late at night or something. Uh, SMU, similar thing, you know, just not a lot of TV relevance for those two programs. So right. well, there, there's other reasons to add those schools that I understand, but TV viewership is not one of them. Is this clearly shows um other things to pick out i mean yeah west virginia does a good job uh west mm -hmm. virginia uh as far as the big big 12 goes you know they're they're right around 30th i think 32nd on this chart yep um 
Oklahoma State and TCU, you know, have been very good recently and, and probably some of the more consistent teams over the last six years. So, um, you know, being good and being relevant, you know, that boosts your ratings. If you're ranked, you're going to get on better channels. You're going to get picked up. You're going to have higher ratings. Uh, look at look who look who are our top uh, five six schools are there: uh, yep. Alabama, Ohio State, Michigan, Georgia, LSU. And massive fan bases, but yep. always in the top five or ten, and always playing, you know, games that have national title, you know, implications. Right. Uh, and so yeah, that definitely matters. And I think you. What's interesting about when you look at the traject- tra- trajectory to me. You look at TCU, their trajectory trajectory is forty nine point seven percent. Oh yeah, but look how good they were last year. And you've and got they, Kansas Kansas State four point two percent on the pot to the positive. They won the Big Twelve last year. Yep, uh, and, and winning, winning matters. Absolutely <laughs> it's, 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 I think that's what this proves as well. It builds TV viewers, it builds fans, it builds donors. Yeah, winning does matter absolutely, uh, and you do it consistently at the high level. And yeah, you're, you're going to become a blue blood if you're not one already. Um, right. That's the way to stay one. Also, just to be clear, these, this uh, viewership score, this V score uh, only looked at uh, regular season games. So all conference championship games and bowl games or playoff games were excluded because that, that's the only fair way to do a comparison since we're comparing, trying to compare apples to apples as much as possible. Did, did it include games? I think you kind of covered this earlier, but just to, just to clarify, did you include, for example, I don't remember what season it was, but uh, TCU played Ohio State in a game a few years ago. Yes. Would that be on? Would that be included? Yes. Yep. Exactly. So yeah, TCU. <laughs> that's a big reason. Yeah, and, and I think that was Sam Bradshaw. Uh, either uh, it, it might have been actually it might have been Stuart Mandel really brought that one out, saying, "Hey, you know, TCU got a big boost because they played Ohio State." Right. Um, yeah. Was- Washington was scheduled to play Ohio State, uh, but they yeah. canceled that canceled. series um, yeah. once once all these negotiations came up, and it was rumored that. Amazon or Apple TV might might be getting the TV media rights. I don't know if that's why. I don't think that's why Ohio State canceled, but I, I don't think that helped. I don't know if their fan base wanted to have to, you know, sign up for a streaming uh, system just to watch right. that game. Right. And to point out too, uh, to show that we're not all hating on the Pac-12 here. Look at Oregon. Oregon is 17th on this list. They're another outlier. You mentioned Clemson earlier. Oregon's an outlier as well. Oh, absolutely. For the yeah, Pac-12. This, this right here. The, Mm-hmm. Is why the Pac-12 needs to do everything they can to keep this school in their conference because exactly. without them, and then without the second one from the Pac, Washington, yep, that conference They're, is pretty much toast in my opinion. Exactly. Yeah, USC had great ratings. UCLA not so great. They would have been third, uh, excuse me, fourth behind you know Oregon's first, USC's second, Washington's third, UCLA's fourth among you know the, the Pac-12 as it was. Uh, there, you know, those are the only four right. teams in the top 30. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, a uh, it's definitely something to, to watch and, and Oregon that, and the next couple of slides will show you sort of how important Oregon is. And, and if I were Oregon, I'd, I'd be, uh, uh, yeah, I'd be um, demanding more than maybe a normal share. Uh, yep. You know, I don't, I don't think they're out of their, uh, that's out of the question to demand that they, they have absolutely by far the greatest media value TV value of any school left uh, there. I agree. So, so we, we went ahead and looked at uh, the, just the, the last two years of so composite conference viewership score for 2021 and 2022. And, you know, this isn't great for the big 12. Uh, that's, you know, that's, ex- this excludes Texas and Oklahoma sort of counts their numbers mm-hmm. uh, for the sec or ex- you, you kick all those games uh, out uh, for, you know, the, for the pack, for the big 12 schools and the pac 12 in this instance, you kick out the USC and UCLA games. So we're not counting right. those games. So, so obviously the numbers shrink, you, you kick out your, your top numbers and, and your average is going to be, lower uh so it's not this isn't the best comparison here to say oh they're way lower than those other conferences because they've been kicked out for for purposes of of this right Right. yeah but i think this goes to show you again if you you take oregon's number out the pac-12 and big 12 would be pretty much even yeah actually it'd be worse than that big 12 would be a little little above right Um, Right. And then and part of that, and, and we'll get into then one of the next two slides, I think it discusses, we can jump to the next. So th- this is looking at sort of comparing those uh, those different years. Um, so 2018 and 19, 
uh, compared to 2021 and 22, sort of grouping those two year periods and comparing them. And you look at the trajectory, this is just looking at that trajectory of the v, v score. And um, yeah, it's, uh, and again, you're kicking out, you know, you're kicking out those other, those schools that have, that are switching conferences. Yeah. It's, it's not a good trajectory for the pack. And, and this is including last year where, which is one of the best years competitively for the pack in recent history, yeah, you know, well. their, their best brands were their, were their best teams. Uh, it was just ratings gold for them and they, and they just did not deliver as much. And, you know, maybe, you know, the fan bases are waking back up, need a year or two to, to kick back in, you know, they're, they have several teams rated and you know, ranked in the preseason polls and you know, fan bases are getting excited. A lot of great qu- quarterback play. They're getting a lot of preseason pub, but year after year, we see that they don't really take yeah. it to the finish line. Haven't been to the playoff in almost 10 years um, and uh, just, you know, aren't relevant in the, you know, national playoff picture. Uh, usually most years. So just to clarify the, this is the so the the Big Twelve, for example. They they had a thirty percent increase in viewership score in twenty one twenty two versus eighteen and nineteen. Absolutely, so their viewership went up thirty percent. Absolutely, yeah, that's what the numbers show. And the pack was you know down fifteen percent. Uh, so that's a forty five percent swing between the two conferences. And and I and the media executives they're looking at these numbers. They they have them a lot drilled down better than we do. They can look at them in the in the demographics and have real time data and look at streaming numbers and, and they they know what's going on. The the Big 12 really benefited from uh, lots of different teams being relevant. I mean Kansas was a national story and college game day went there. That's usually just the ratings pit of the Big 12. Mm-hmm. Um you know, you have Kansas State being, you know, really good. You've had you know, four different teams, none of them Texas or Oklahoma making the Big 12 championship game um, right. in the last years. And yeah, West Virginia, you know, been down recently, still, still does solid, you know, strong, loyal fan base and has some, yeah. some solid TV numbers when, when they're good, when they're ranked, I, I can only imagine how those, oh, yeah. how those numbers are going to pop. Yep. Then they will. And it, this is, and, this and is same for BYU. Same and this BYU. is without Texas and Oklahoma and exactly. without you. Wow. Yep. And without USC and UCLA to be fair. Yep. Wow, that's this is. I could sit and stare at this all day, but let's move. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> ACC too. I mean, you know, ACC was down, and yep. this right here proves it. Yeah, when when your biggest story is Wake Forest for you know some mm-hmm. of those years, that's that's a little. Yep. That's, that's an, Wake Forest is arguably the smallest. Uh, them and them Vanderbilt and Northwestern are, are probably the three smallest fan bases among. Uh, among all the power five conferences um so wake forest is they they're lucky they're good at football recently because if they if there was a way to kick a team out of a pack uh, out of the power five they should have been kicked out a while ago right now bubble this charts i love bubble charts yeah yeah what okay. we got here so this right here looks at uh so your viewership score is on the left and then your trajectory. Uh, so the vertical axis is your viewership score. Your horizontal axis is your trajectory. So you want to be up and to the right on this. Uh, you know, that's, that's the the place, you know, Oregon there, there's our, there's our outlier, right? They yeah. have great viewership score and a good trajectory. So they've been more relevant the last couple of years than they were, you know, four or five years ago. Uh, there, if you look at the, uh, the big bubble for the big 12 and the uh, big bubble for the pack, that's sort of close to Texas tech for the pack and close to Baylor for the big 12. That's just averaging the, the, the teams there. Um, uh, you look at, uh, so you want to be to the right of this graph and you want to be high on this graph. But if you look at where most of the pack 12 schools are, they're to the left and in the middle. You look at most of the Big 12 schools are to the right and in the middle, uh, and you'd rather be on an upward trajectory. Um, Again, looking at SMU, San Diego State here, a lot of the, uh, you know, the uh, G G5 schools. uh, Forgive me, my my Caresco for using that term, Um, but um, (laughs) that they're they're just. uh, It wasn't that long ago he was using the term Power Six. (laughs) Yeah, it was a little little ironic there, huh? I don't know that he has a whole lot of room to talk but anyway yeah i mean feel 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 bad for them you know just getting rated and losing brands you know teams get good and they get just get picked up uh so, so it can is, you explain cal 
Uh, let's see, Cal. They're on see, the Cal. far, almost. They're on the far right, but yeah. So, so yeah, Cal. Cal just had uh, better games. You know, the Pac-12 North uh, did better in the last couple of years with yeah. with Oregon State and and Oregon and and their rivalry game does get you know that Stanford Cal game does get some numbers uh, that you know it's called the game uh, and it hasn't been relevant for the Pac-12 championship you know those teams are sort of spoilers for other teams sometimes but uh, the, so the games that they do play uh, they you know they they get decent ratings on so that's interesting the cat so the, the, the and he's the horizontal axis is trajectory correct yeah, I'm sorry. The the games they play, they they just had a. It might have just been more of a statistical outlier that a couple of their right. games were, were just more viewed than in the previous year. But oh, so. this is more looking at general trends. You know, you yeah. see the scatter plot. It's hard to draw too many conclusions. I get except it. Except from an I'm outlier just... like Oregon, like yeah. TCU, there, yeah. um, Oklahoma State. You know, they they just are the kings of the the ratings of the leftover schools uh, for the conferences here. Washington's an anomaly too, because you think they would be, um, you think they would be further to the, to the right on trajectory, but yeah, they, they they they, could yeah, be. they weren't so hot. They've they've made a comeback, but yeah, they they struggled and just last year sort of came back into relevance. So they've only had yeah. one really one good year there, and it didn't show up in their trajectory yet. Well, but that's you're right. I, I was I was kind of being short sighted there. You you got to take in consideration how they you know 2022 they were good, but 21 they were terrible. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that that and this is a four year uh window here. So Yep. Right. Well five year window, but kicking out the twenty year. Right, right. So statistics from four from four seasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So here we are. Uh again, it's uh not not the easiest to see as I apologize for the size, but um the the biggest thing to draw here is look at the right side, look at the Pac twelve side. Um Look, look how far you have to look down before you find any game that doesn't involve Oregon or Washington. Um, you get down to the Utah Colorado game yep. and uh, I think your ticker is sort of hiding something on the bottom, which, which is fine. Uh, these are the years or the color codes. So the green here uh, is uh, the most recent year. Yeah. 20. So green is 2019 blue is 2021. Uh, and red is uh, 2022. So we didn't go back and look at all the years here. These are just uh, right. last three years, excluding the COVID year. Um, uh, but again, just, you know, the, the numbers, the raw numbers do look a little better for the, the Pac-10 compared to the, the big 12. But part of that is because you're comparing 10 Pac-12 schools to eight Big 12, big 12 schools. So these are just the rem the, le the leftovers, the remainders. Right. Uh, so you're, you're drawing from a bigger, you know, bigger base of games. You're going to have higher numbers in general, but, but you, if you averaged out those raw numbers, yeah, the PAC 12 wins, but that's largely because they have more teams and mostly because they have Oregon. Um, yeah. And, you know, you can go all the way down. There's that one sort of Utah Colorado game that hit a 2.34 million uh, 2.43 million viewership score, but then you scroll down even further and I, you're down to Utah, Colorado again, uh, from, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I forget what year, what year that was, but, um, the num the color is coming out a little wow. weird on my computer. So, so actually yeah. green is red here. I don't know if this went through a red, green colorblind filter or something, but 2022 looks green to me and is more on the big 12 side with the number, with the higher numbers. Uh, so where it says red, uh, 2022, that's actually TCU, Baylor, Iowa, Iowa, Iowa state, TCU, Oklahoma state, Kansas state, those top three, mm -hmm. those are 2022. Um, gotcha. and, uh, it, it, it just graphically shows that, uh, yeah, there we go. Hey, there we are. Sorry go. about that. There we are. Now, now we're seeing the right colors. I figured uh, out what was, what the problem was. Hey, that's all good. Where we can, we can roll with the punches. Right. What, what's yeah. that? The attitude, blessed are the flexible for they shall not be bent out of shape. There you go. <laughs> so, there you go. So, yeah. So yeah, that, that red or the pink here on the left that has mostly big 12. That's uh that's the highest games were more recently. You look at all those great games for the pac 12, actually only five of their top is this 20 ish games in the last three years. Mm-hmm. 
were from the last year. The majority were from, you know, 2021 or 2019. And the majority of the games uh, is the opposite. You know, the higher games were recent for the Big 12. So Right. Yeah, which makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think I looked through there, and I think there's only like five total games in the in this top twenty ish uh, that that didn't involve Oklahoma or Oregon or Washington, and it's like twelve or thirteen that had Oregon. He, even like you look at the bottom 10, 10 or eight games there, and it's you know Oregon Arizona Oregon Arizona Oregon Cal mm-hmm. Oregon Stanford Oregon Oregon State. You know, there's they, yeah. Oregon just keeps popping up even when it's not a huge game. Just a lot of people watch Oregon, and they really yep. bring up the PAX numbers. 